they are talking about the Libra project and this video is about the protocol specification that it's a chain BFT that means it's a one part of the protocol because under the hood of the protocol because under the hood Libra it's a variant of the Hofstad protocol and this variant includes two kind of protocol that it's called in the hot stuff the basic hot stuff and the chained uh, hot stuff so far in this video only we saw the reputation of this protocol specification in the side of the leader and we are making a technical analysis of the big difference that have with on another uh, VFT protocol out there. So let's see this introduction video to understand the basics of this uh, Libra implementation. Technology has improved the world around us. So why is it simple to send one of these anywhere in an instant, but not money? What if we made money truly global, stable, and secure? What if everyone was invited to the global economy with access to the same financial opportunities? Introducing Libra, a new global payment system designed for the digital world, backed by the belief that money should be fast for Ope in Lagos, simple for Saul's family business in Manila, and secure for Betsa Bay when sending money home to Mexico City. It's powered by blockchain, making it safe and accessible. No matter who you are, So join us as we move towards a world where money works for everyone. This is Libra, and it's just the beginning. So that's uh, the first video that you can find in the Libra official page. And this video is under the hood, so let's move to the developer documentation and the developer area to understand under the hood how this protocol specification uh, calling chain VFT uh, works. So let's move to C in the hood repo. And so far you can find documentation and your first transaction. This video is not about that, so let's move to the official heap of repo to understand the definitions of this. And so far, you can find here the heap of repo. It's a Rust a language programming that was developed with, by Mozilla Firefox. That it's a functional language programming. And so far, you can find here a folder with a different kind of implementation about Libra. And you can find here. Um, different uh, things that is for only for handling the data other things like is the serialized thing other things that it's the virtual machine implementation that in the case of libra is calling move virtual machine and uh, it's still in develop this uh, kind of implementation but uh, this uh, webinar is about this chain pft that it's a specific folder in the folder of consensus so let's move to see this consensus and you have here the source code of this consensus and so far you can find here different things about uh, this kind of implementation and of course uh, the overview of this um we can see that this uh, protocol have a overview in the state machine replication paradigm that it's a well-known uh, paradigm uh, in the distributed systems about the state machine in a Byzantine way and um, how this means that this state machine is dealing with uh, 
in reach the consensus in a safety way and we see on another video that this state machine replication also means that have these safety rules in so many ways so we saw that this libra protocol use a variant of the hub stuff uh, consensus protocol that is a recent Byzantine fault tolerant consensus protocol called libra bft so let's see this uh, paper that was written by man fuji a researcher from cornell university and also dalia mankin that is um, a pro master in in the area of distributed systems um, it's a paper that have different uh, things about this protocol specification but let's see uh, the first uh, concept of this that is the later Byzantine fault tolerant replication protocol and this uh, kind of protocol is uh, dealing with the personal synchronous model and this personal synchronous model is um, a way for reach the consensus because uh, we have in theory that the impossibility of feature uh, show it that it's not possible in a deterministic way a rich uh, synchronous network for a single failure so you need to reach this consensus for for don't get the not trivial things for don't get the trivial things so the three main ingredients for these not trivial things for which those uh, not trivial things are the agreement are the validate and all the finally so there are the three main ingredients for this kind of protocol ex uh, specification so these three main ingredients that also are three conditions are agreement all the process that decide choose the same value the second is the termination all the faulty process eventually decide the third is the validity the common output value is an input value of some process and so far are these uh, three conditions so for dealing the personal synchronous model are extension to the model to find a way for uh, reach the uh, to spread a message in a synchronous network that are a randomized uh, a randomized thing or a random setting for reach this consensus for dealing with the feature leech patterns on impossibility so let's move to see we saw on other videos a lot of things of this chain vf2 uh, protocol and so far you can find uh, other in the literature that this chain uh, stuff uh, it's a basic paper line of of the basic hub stuff that it's very similar with the practical Byzantine fault tolerance and this is the fig of this chain stuff and we can find here that this chain stuff is a paper in basic whole stuff where a current certificate can serve in a different phases simultaneously so we saw in this uh, in this kind of protocol that that the decentralization for this way it's very low because uh, only one of the three phases is involved with a leader so also you have the permission setting that is very different for the permission less and basically it's that in permission it you decide uh, what is the thing that it's joined to the network so in this uh, trade-off of this chain hub stuff is the decentralization and don't have a lot of decentralization meaning in the in the thing that um, only one of these three phases is involved with a leader so so in chain hub stuff 
every face is symbolic with a leader and every, every face of chain of stuff is symmetric so you can see this symmetric uh, meaning of the prepare pre commit commit and decide so this is a interesting way for understand all the things that this uh, committed face have and this uh, chain stuff is uh, connect with the basic of stuff that is very similar with the pre the pvft uh, practical Byzantine fault tolerance protocol and means that uh, this uh, thing it's prepare meshes to the nodes while uh, broadcasting the meshes a node can receive prepare meshes for other nodes so if a node receive um, 2f plus 1 prepare meshes the node will be prepared state in this commit phase if a node is prepared stage each node broadcast commit meshes after broadcasting each node will receive commit measures and if the number of commit measures gotten down different nodes is greater or equal to 2f plus 1 then the node accepts the block proposed by the leader in this case we state that the block is committed so you can find here that this committed block is the finally of this uh, consensus protocol and is the termination of that all no faulty processes eventually eventually decide this commit block but the big difference that we saw in another video with the pvf2 protocol it's the topology of the network that the libra vft variant has that in this uh, meaning it's uh, the point to point uh, topology network and the practical Byzantine fault tolerance we have that it's a uh, mesh topology so this classic implementation in the blockchain approach it's an uh, interesting thing and we saw that this chained uh, hub stuff this paper land make a better network than which that means that this network band bandwidth complexity of this big notation is less with uh, compared with another kind of pft protocol out there so you are dealing with this blockchain trilemma that is interesting way for understand the difference or the comparison of of any kind of consensus algorithm algorithm out there so if we compare the chaining hub stuff with the practical Byzantine fault tolerance and also for example the Casper implementation we have that the best in the decentralization that is one of these part of this trilemma will be Casper more decentralization thing because uh, the proportion of the leader involved in phases so you have more uh, random instinct and these leaders are involved in more phases in the war uh, in the worst example we have that this chain and host stock could be the the worst of this scenario but have a better network bandwidth and a property that the researchers call in Leibniz think and the pre vft protocol is the worst in network bandwidth and scalability but have a good decentralization for the proportion of the leader involved faces so this is only a, a case of studio of, of this chain host so let's move to the code to see this leader reputation and understand under the hood the paypal line of this protocol specification so So we have here uh, the folder in the chain chained uh, VFT folder, and we have that we have this chain in VFT. We saw in another videos uh, its folder, 
and this video is about this leader reputation. So let's start this stroke of the mock story. So this data is a vector of the block data. So let's implement this make uh, implementation in the mock story. So this function new data will be a vector of this block metadata. So then you have this mock story. So you need to import make the implementation of the metadata back backend so implementation of metadata backend for mock story is a function of get block metadata and so far you need a lot of data for handle this so this function for get the block metadata is in the way of ROS. So let's start. Let's start a condition of this. So is the self data of length is window size as the same kind of implementation. This self data where we have this length less of the window the side as o side so else with this is zero so if the self data start more data here so so far we saw in summary this mock story that it's handle all the data that you have because remember that these measures have different phases so to handle the different measures of this data it's awful in so many ways so Let's see how to replicate this create block for understand under hood this protocol specification in the side of the leader reputation. So let's see this metadata backend. So put trait metadata backend. Sorry. So this function get block da 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 is the self window side of this round. This block of metadata so we saw in another video this reputation acoustic 
then we have the an activate and inactivate heuristic so it's the well for handle the uh, measures for the activate height and the inactivate height that are those two kind of functions for handle this pipa line in the safety way condition Uh, in summary, this is only a summary that the things that we saw in another videos. So let's um, see more interesting things here. Maybe the proposals that it's so new. So let's move to the implementation and I start thinking how to make this proposal generator so poop stroke yes poop stroke proposal generator so you have the author that we saw in other videos the block store that could be um, so pay lot plus the same plus the sink so you need to manage the transaction of this uh, chain chain uh, hot stuff. So this transaction manager so a lot. So time service it's uh, and so far we can see here that this package of data and the stroke of the way that uh, ROS2 it's all about the transaction manager the the last round generates and also how to handle the query of finding the branch to extend and generating the proposed block so this mass max block size and the last On the last round generate it's around so we have here the author that is the ID that in another sense is the account address of this validator in the validator side we also have the block store it's query both for the finding brush to the proposed block we have this transaction manager that is the transaction manager is deli delivering this transaction the time service that is uh, to generate block time steps that we saw it's uh, a way to prevent double, double spend and we have the max number of transactions to be added to a proposal that is the max block size and we have the last round generate and the last round that a proposal was generated so far we can find here that is the stroke of this proposal generator so let's see this implementation so this is in the way of a lot So 
So this proposal generate on soft function of new. And we need to this data here for make this implementation. So I just think like this. Block reader in the way of display load. Close the send, close the sync. Then the transaction manager. This way. Then the time, time service. Then the max block size. And the last round, it's not implemented here because this is the implementation of this proposal generator. So that will be in the self condition. So this self thing. With the author thing. And repeat all the condition. So in the last round generate, uh, you need to make a mutex condition for prepare for the next round. So you need to put this mutex new condition. Um, you have a not boogie code here for make this proposal generator. So the last thing to do here is start thinking in the function of generate the nil block for the way of the function of generate reconfig empty suffix. Also the generate of the author and the async of generate the proposal. Then you need to the function of insert highest current certificate. The in the way is the the thing that protect this chain of stuff for reach the consensus, but also it's the trade-off for the decentralization thing. So this kind of protocol make have a good scalability but this current certificate in the permission and setting have this trade-off for the proportion of leader involvement in phases so let's move to this generate need block so this proof function of generate need block needs different kind of conditions. You need the self row of any So 
so let's change this extension um, Anyhow, mm. so let's continue to the condition of the statement for fear and now of the query certificate. So this query certificate itself ensure the highest query certificate in the row mini. So the block of this new nil of the row here certificate as the ref of this condition to clone this and this is the function for generate the nil block to ensure the highest scheme certificate that is the main ingredient for the termination and also for the permission and setting so you need to debug this so this reconfiguration rule you need to propose empty blocks and after reconfiguration until it's committed so remember that in the protocol of the practical Vicente Infoltore analysis the termination is for committed the block the last committed block so this function of having this it's the generates reconfig this data for the book so this self round remember that it's all about the rounds that you have for chain for the next view so it could be a reconfiguration so start with the condition that matters that is the highest skin certificate because it's the other ingredient for this consensus protocol specification and this get this highest curious certificate so it's having curious certificate is equals to a self that ensure the highest curious cert of the round and so far you need to handle the block of the data of the new proposal then this data needs default of the author this round and remember that the certificate block is the finality of this kind of implementation So this is a scene generate proposal. It's a big deal for generate 
the proposal. So let's find the way for handle the function of generate the proposal. So this async function of generate the proposal so the round and the round tail line that is the finality of this main ingredient for reach the consensus need to be instant so this anyhow implementation result in handle this block meta data or maybe the data so So you need to bend this and start with the statement for make. And this is the hard part because you don't know how to handle all this data in a safety way. So you need the guide of the papers. And we can find a, a very good paper of the Hopstoff, the linear optimal resilience watch measures that was writing for it that Abram um, was the first implementation for describe the host of protocol and let's view um, different things here And we have that this liveness thing. We have the liveness via synchronized clocks. In another approach, we have the liveness using a rotating proposer. That is this thing that we are uh, mm, analysis in in this way. This liveness, it's in this rotating proposer. So let's see this paper. So let's find here this paper here. So half stuff the linear So let's see this protocol specification in the rotating processor for the leader reputation and have a condition. So this liveness is the six and we have here. So this liveness is in a rotating proposer it's another option to explicitly view level synchronization into the protocol via proposer rotation after the global standardization time that is the GC team we saw that is a, a property that basically makes a synchronous global state in how to pass these measures and under the hood the price maker is the thing that handle this kind of property so we have this condition that 
a replica enters the next level upon receiving a proposal carrying the commit certificate for the previous level. So this way the algorithm moves at the network speed and does not delay for some predetermined synchronization points. So this transition are handled different at rotation levels. Open preparers to enter a rotation level, a replica broadcast to all the replicas as synchronization meshes. So we can see here that this uh, rotating processor have have to handle the proposal generator in the in the last row in the last round generation so you need to multi the round for handle the level up thing so this condition will be so hard to make a good implementation but the finality will be ensured this high in key insert. Mm. So in the next video we'll we see uh, another things about this Libra VFT. And um, see the rotating proposal uh, meaning of this kind of function that you have this rotating process you need to choose the leader so this proposal election of this rotating processor it's all about the protocol specification that we saw here so you need to handle different rotation levels so what's the first implementation and the chain Make a so so this uh, protocol specification we see in another video. So have a good day.